Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching the News at 10 live on Channels Television. A reminder of our top stories. Body of former president of Nigeria, Alaji Sheo Shagari, laid to rest at his hometown in Sokoto State as tributes continue to pour in for the first elected president of Nigeria. Chaos in Adamawa House of Assembly as lawmakers impeach Deputy Speaker Emmanuel Samdu and two other members. We turn our attention today to the judiciary in continuation of our assessment of activities in various sectors in 2018. And Egypt police kill 40 militants after raiding their hideouts following Friday's roadside bombing in Giza. ChannelsTV.com has more information for you and go to YouTube.com forward slash channels web to view our videos. Watch us on your mobile device via your browser or download the Channel TV app for Android and iOS devices from their respective stores. And besides giving you access to news updates on the go, the Channel TV and Channel 24 app has an eyewitness feature so you can use it to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. The Taraba State Governor, Dario Sishako, has received the support of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, ABGA, ahead of next year's elections. Top officials of the party with politicians from the south, north and central senatorial zones in the state paid the governor a visit in his hometown in Takum local government area. The governor was also at the cultural Festival assured the people that he will create more chiefdoms in the state if re-elected into office. It's barely two months to the 2019 general elections and political parties continue to pull their weight as they try to woo the electorate. The governor of Taraba State, Darius Ishiaku, is not left out. He gets more endorsements from some people. Because I know that I'm working not because I want money. I'm working not because I want uh, uh, addition to work. I'm working so that we will leave a legacy for daughters yet unborn. From what we heard today and the responses from the supporters of the PDP in our zone, We've got an assurance that 2019, by the grace of God, is going to be a walkover for the governor. He also gets the support of the All Progressives Ground Alliance, who threw their weight behind him as the PDP governorship candidate, although there is a clause to it. The 2019 election is going to be a walkover for PDP in the state, even though I'm an Abga. Only the governorship, only the governorship, sir. I would emphasis only the governorship election. And, and where, where, where you have peace, you're going to have development. And for that singular act, every living being in, in southern Taraba, or in particular in the EB for the constituency, will stand for Darius to come back. It turns out to be a busy day for the governor, as he also makes a stop at the 40-year anniversary of the Ichen Cultural Development Association, Ikada, in Taraba. The aim of the event is to showcase the cultural heritage of the state. Governor Ishiaku promises to create more chiefdoms if re-elected. We can never say we are finished or exhausted the chiefdom process. And so, by the grace of God, when we are back, more chiefdoms will be created. The Ita people have been yearning for a central leadership for a very long time without success. We thank God for using you to actualize this dream in our time. As the political atmosphere thickens in the state and the country, what is on the mind of the electorate is having a credible and peaceful process. Governor Ishaku is not the only one receiving support. Members of a civil society organization in Abia State have expressed their belief in the ability of the governorship candidate of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Mr. Alex Oti, to stun the state around for the better if elected in 2019. The members of the group who pay the solidarity visit to Mr. Oti at his home, country home 
believe that he's capable of bringing the desired state change to the state. Seated here are members of the civil society organization on the solidarity visit to Abia State's Abga governorship candidate in his hometown in Isiala, Ngoa, local government area of the state. The aim of the visit is to reassure the governorship candidate of their support in the coming election. Addressing the group, Dr. Oti criticizes the mismanagement of the state resources by leaders and promises to improve governance in the state if elected. So that it is time that we say enough is enough. That's why we came for this. I'm not interested in any other thing. I am ashamed to come from other states. And being ashamed is not enough. I must do something about it. So it is in our interest to support those who are willing to make that sacrifice. He also promises to make his policy document accessible. There are a lot of things that we have documented in our manifesto. And I like uh, to, for you to take away a few copies of the manifesto. So those of you who are on the media, social media space, you don't even need to carry physical manifesto. I have them placed on our website. It's www.alexot.com. Just go in there and click on manifesto. Everything that I'm telling you is documented there. You can read it at your time. Members of the organization believe that Dr. Oti is the best choice for the people. All IPIs have really said that PDP for over 20 years has nothing to do in Abia State and cannot do anything. So they don't have anything to offer. So we're begging Dr. Alex Oti to make sure come 2019 that he protect our vote because the masses really said they are going to vote for him because he is only who oh, are really suffering. Abians are really suffering so much. Dr. Alex Oti is our, our only hope. This coming election, the women are with him also until we see the change that we as women that gave birth to the children that are crying in Abba, until we see the change that we need in this state, we can never have our rest. Dr. Oti, who is running for the number one position in Abia State for the second time, is confident that he will win the election come 2019. If you are not going to and still talking politics, but this time in a neighboring Imo state where the governorship candidate of the Young Progressive Party, Mr. Linus Okori, has promised to develop human capital and empower the state to create wealth if elected as governor in 2019. Mr. Okori mentioned this while flagging off his governorship campaign at his hometown in Oguta local government area of Imo state. <laughs> The school ground of Egboma Community Primary School in Uguta Local Government Council plays host to supporters of the Young Progressives Party, YPP, as its governorship candidate, Linus Okori, commences campaign in Imo State. In solidarity, different groups display the party's banners bearing the image of the governorship candidate. <laughs> Leaders of the party, both at the state and national levels, are confident that their candidate will emerge victorious. We know why we choose him. That's why PP Imo State choose him. And based on that, the way we are working out things, we believe by God's grace he will emerge. Because with him, the old order will be changed. The abundant voter population that we have, that is mainly youth and women, is our focal point. That's the centerpiece of uh, YPP. And uh, you will see that we have focused on people who have not even voted before, but they have PVC. They are coming back out to shock the nation. They're going to surprise Nigerians. 
And because we're declaring something new, something bold, and something different, that is what gives us the confidence. The man for whom the crowd is gathered says he remains resolute to win the governorship race. We will create what we call an enterprise development service center, where every young person with a beautiful idea can have access to finance to be able to set up their businesses and make sure it works. And because of the economic hub of Imo State, industrial strength of Imo State, we will ensure that every young person will have a skill, the skill to be able to do what? To be able to perform, do their work, earn a living wage. Amen. To authenticate his status as the YPP governorship candidate, Mr. Linus Okoria is presented with a party's flag by its national chairman. Over 50 candidates in various political parties will contend for the highest seats of government in Imo State in the 2019 general elections. From politics to other matters now, no fewer than eight people are said to have died after two vehicles reportedly plunged into the Ekpan River in Delta State. The incident, which involved a sports utility vehicle and a commercial minibus, occurred this morning at Uya local government area. Eyewitnesses said the vehicles were heading towards a from roundabout from Worry when the SUV rammed into the bus on the MPA expressway. The Delta State Police Command confirmed the incident but said details surrounding it are still sketchy. Nigerian Air Force authorities have released a video showing how its officers gave ground troops aerial support when Boko Haram insurgents attacked Baga town in Bornu state. The Air Force says his helicopter gunship engaged the terrorists at isolated locations, destroying some of their vehicles and neutralizing some fighters. A statement by the Air Force Director of Information, Air Commodore Ibikuni Daramola, says the Air Tax Force conducted 20 missions in 21 sorties, with a total of about 9, 39 hours flown on, the December, on December the 26th, and the 27th. It adds that the Nigerian Air Force Intelligence Surveillance Team, which was overhead the troops, also worked closely with the Nigerian Nigerian Air Force and ground troops in directing their fire against the terrorists. The statement also confirmed that the Air Force provided support for the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Navy troops when the naval base at Doron and the headquarters of the 7th Brigade Multinational Joint Tax Force were attacked by the Islamic State of West Africa province on the evening of December the 26th. And staying with security matters, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Ononishaki, has commended Operation Lafia Dole troops for their gallant defeat of the insurgents in Baga town and its environs. The CDS has been meeting with the Chiefs of Army, Air Force and Naval Staff at the headquarters of the Theater Command Operation Lafia Adole in Medugri in continuation of routine operational visit. Last week, a similar meeting held at the headquarters of the Air Tax Force in Medugri. Since then, attacks had occurred spontaneously in various parts of the Northeast, some of which include Katako, Baga, Mungunu, and Bama, amongst others. According to the Director, Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Sani Usman, the defense chief is happy with the performance of the troops in dealing with the insurgents. And when the news at 10 returns, Nigeria's stock market loses nearly 340 billion naira in two sessions this week as profit taking maintains dominance ahead of the last trading day for 2018. That's on business news. Join us again.